Uh, trying to send off the IEDs. Um, I was 40 years old, not 41. It was August and it started hitting and hitting. Uh, according to St. Michael, which is all I had then and all I have now and all I will ever have. I won't ever know anything else or talk to anyone else, which is how it was before I went on the internet. I was always alone and had no one to turn to from the day I was born. Maybe before I'm on the streets again and I have to wear a wig and sunglasses to cover up who I am in order to get money because they won't give me money if they know it's me begging for it. No, they hate me in America. They made it clear that after this many years, you know it. And so I will disguise myself. I already have a plan. I will have my cat with me in one of those little cat backpack things and we'll live in a tent. I figure I have to do something like that because I can't beg Americans. They are sadistic and they enjoy it too much. I'm, begging them for my fucking life and they're just not going to do it, okay? They're not going to give me a money job or even a chance to survive their terror cells. They're just furious and pissed that I'm still standing on that porch. It's all it's ever going to be, okay? And they're going to keep sending their cops. Any county or any city, I fucking step foot in. <clears throat> Where my tent is, they're going to come harass me when I'm uh, bumming change. I, I don't know what I'm going to fucking do. I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. I pray to God I don't die by the hands of these fucking cops. And then there's all these other ones, these agents now that know I don't get sick from their chemical weapons. I walk through them, they know about me now too. And they're even worse, they're like a thousand times worse. So I'm just gonna wander around by myself, I know. That's my plan, that's what God plans for me. And hold the phone to my face. As I get older and older and worse and worse and worse, the way I look, the way I talk, as I just completely fucking decay before your eyes. And no one will ever help me, I know that. It's not his intent. It's not his plan. All that he has planned is why I'm here, is to be with him. Ask him for help. No one else will ever come. I know that. It's funny because he says that normally I stop at 37 at aging because I don't get sick from chemical weapons and this angel stuff that I can't speak straight anyways now. But these really evil agents know about it and that's what fucking worries me. He says normally I'm 37 but I get older so I fit in. And right, don't tell people about angel. I know. And I don't. I never have. I never really made any direct statements about that. But these agents are really fucking wondering about me, you know, just to say vaguely how I'm doing that every day, every day. Well, they're going to keep doing that until I walk out of here, dude. Every day, hit me with those chemical weapons. It has been proven and founded. I don't get sick from those or die. And I'm witnessing so many motherfucking murders with the chemical weapons, and I can't talk about them. At any moment, these cops are gonna come knock on my door for the people who are using chemical weapons on me and everybody else, and chopping up dead bodies and stinking up all the house. At any minute, knock, knock, knock. Wherever I go, county to county, city to city, with these really creepy agents that hate those cops too. These creepy agents that are capable of killing like 20 motherfuckers in 10 minutes, easy. They're really dangerous fucking people. They're the ones I described, the white and Arab ones. Yeah, they don't do a lot of meth. Uh, they don't uh, have sex mob orgies. They're not capable of having uh, love, no. And some of them, a lot of them, cut up and chop up their bodies, white and Arab. And they'll do it to their girlfriend in a hot fucking minute who they have regular sex with. It's really fucking scary. I was trying to say that, but I was so injured earlier. And their girlfriends know it. And this is one reason why they come for their girlfriends. These people are really sick. And this is these people who have caused my life to be no over as I know it. And I'm there on the sidewalk. Spare change, spare change, spare change. In disguise, it's these people that made my life that way. 
in the end, holding this still to her face as she gets older and older and older and older and is always alone in some fucking camp yard or who knows where next. And she gets sicker looking and sicker looking and sicker looking her face, her skin. And then she can hardly talk. And all they do is say, mental health, mental health, mental health. All they do, mental health, mental health. It's all you read back. As there's all this crashing and booming, overpowering sound machines here. All they say is mental health, mental health. Mm -hmm, I know that. That's why I disguise myself when I uh, spare change, because I won't get that. I'll just be shouting mental health as I beg for pennies. Goodbye.